and uh, my these tools I have in my hotkey menu, which is Alt Q. So you can set up custom uh, marking menus here. So if I hold down Shift and then do like make a poly cube, and then we can make a poly cube here, and then I can hit W and I can hit Control D to duplicate this. And I'm going to turn off tweak mode because I don't want that on while I'm box modeling here. So we can kind of move this out and we can scale this down. And now I can use this as a boolean here. Let me go ahead and turn on my wireframe here. So if I have this one selected and then this one, I can do a number of different things. I can do diffuse box, which is going, or a difference box, which is going to be like, okay, here's the preview of what that boolean is going to do. So I can take this and I can edit this on the fly and I can move it down and I can scale it. Now, one thing I can't do, I don't think is edit it on the component level. It's just a box. So you can kind of just go in here and make decisions like this. Uh, once you're happy with this, you can select this one and then do clear box. Uh, if you want to have a little bit more control, let's go ahead and I can make this surface live, which I think, let me find my hotkey for that. I'm gonna be doing that a lot. Make live, Alt V. So I'm gonna do Alt V to make this box live. And then if I go back into my menu here, we'll do another polycube. So I'm just gonna drag on here and drag off. And then I'm gonna do Alt V to toggle live off. Now I've got this one, so if I select this one and then I shift select this one and then I do a um, right click and do diffuse box edit mode, that means I can select this one, I can move it in and out, it gives me a preview of that boolean, but I can also go through here and like select a component and do component editing. Uh, so I can grab a vertice and like move these verts up. And I can also go in here into edges and do like a bevel on this edge here and change the fraction down and then segments so I can kind of dial that in a little bit. And once I'm happy with that result, uh, I can also clear that box and start doing that. Um, a lot of really cool stuff you can do. If we do, let's go ahead and make this live again. And then I'm holding down shift, right click, and we're gonna do a polyplane. I'm just gonna drag that out here and then scale that up. And then I'm gonna go Alt V to turn off live. I can also use this to slice. So I think I can do this and this, and then I can do, uh, if I do a diffuse, I can do quick slicer, and then I'll go ahead and just slice this thing off right there, wherever this thing was. And what else we got in here? You can do uh, additive booleans, subtractive booleans, intersection booleans. Um, you can do multiple booleans at the same time. If we want to do, what else can we do? So we can duplicate this off, and scale this down, pop this out scale it up and then here to here and then do a diffuse and then we can just do uh, diffuse and intersection so we can click both of those and now you've got a little piece in here that fits perfectly right in there um, and then with all of these you can select all of these here and I'm gonna go into my uh, AM tools we'll do the shape shifter here let me see Channel box, channel box. I'm trying to remember. So we grab all of these things. No. D F shape. It must have been the There you go. So the shape shifter, that gives you this uh, support offset. And so you can select that and kind of middle mouse drag and that'll kind of give you an offset support and then a bevel offset here. And then you can add your bevel dimensions. Just dial that in. And then uh, that's also non-destructive. So let's go ahead and turn our wireframe off so you can kind of get your shape going like that. And if you ever want to go back and dial that in, you can go ahead and change those options. So you can go here and we'll select this object too. And we'll go ahead and do our shape shifter here. And yeah, we'll do our bevel offset. And again, I'm just selecting that and then middle mouse dragging over here. Support offset, bevel offset. And you probably want your bevel offset to be a smaller value and then you can tell it how many divisions you want. And now you can kind of start getting these things kind of dialed in for all your Boolean modeling needs. Um, cool. Yeah, exactly. So, and in, um, you know, I don't do a ton of modeling in Maya, but if I need to do some quick, just kind of quick Boolean bevel 
modeling type stuff, this is what I'll do. 